He's a good guy. He's never, ever failed me. Devastated, heartbroken, lost. That's how a mother in Gwinnett County says she's feeling after her teenage son was gunned down over a football. Her other son attacked by the gunman as well as he was trying to defend his older brother. 11 Live's Latasha Givens is live in Snellville tonight. Latasha, just cruel and senseless that a teenager's life was lost at all, let alone over something so trivial. That's right, Cheryl. That's the sentiment of everyone in the neighborhood that we talked to. The teen victim was one of six children. They had just celebrated the last day of school and they were playing around this basketball court behind me, just feet away from his very own back porch where his family was inside when investigators say he was gunned down by his own adult neighbor. Witnesses say this all happened in front of his younger brother and several other children. Police say 31-year-old Robert Jennings, who lives here, turned himself in after shooting and killing 18-year-old Ezekiel Smith. The teen's mother, Elizabeth Smith, is devastated and confused. It's really, really sad that it was a neighbor who did this, who is also a father who did this, and I can't explain why. Over a football, really? Witnesses told police the teens were playing football near this basketball court when Jennings confronted them, saying they stole his ball. The younger brother, Hezekiah, seen here on the left side of your screen, tried to defend Ezekiel and was pistol whipped. Seconds later, Jennings pulled out his gun and fired several shots. I don't know what was going through his mind. While Jennings sits behind bars charged with her son's murder, Smith says she's praying for him and his family. He's a good guy. He's never, ever failed me, so I can't fail him and speak wrong and say, yes, he deserved this. She says a group of children, including the shooter's own son, witnessed the crime. This is something that will disturb him as he grew up to know this is what my dad did. And I wouldn't want that little boy to know his father to be that. Ezekiel Smith just got his license and was set to graduate this fall. Happy memories this mother insists will carry her forward. He didn't die in vain. His life was not taken in vain. And back out here live, you can see the memorial that was set up by friends and loved ones this morning. Lots of notes, candles, teddy bears, and balloons, all sending prayers to the family. Now the suspect is still being processed, and the Gwinnett County Jail will bring you his mugshot and other details when they become available. Live in Snellville, I'm Latasha Givens, 11 Alive News.